Hello and welcome to this first video from Bookish Wonderland. I am Davide and I'm glad to welcome you all on my new YouTube channel. Um, the reason why I'm launching this YouTube channel is very simple. I have a big passion in life, I have a big interest. And obviously, as you all can imagine, this interest are books. And now I've decided I want to make my passion a little bit more uh, public. So before I get into the details of the first book I'm going to talk about, let me tell you a bit more about myself. I am Davide, I'm Italian, I'm a journalist and I live in London and I read mostly English uh, books, I mean books in English, in English language. I have set uh, this year's book challenge on Goodreads to 80 books, although I hate challenges. I think I can read 80 books a year. I have kept my threshold low on purpose because then it's easier to, you know, get into it and when I see that it's really picking up I might raise the number of books that I'm expecting to read to something more than what I am uh, planning now. So I'm planning to post videos about individual books that I read throughout the year. Obviously with time I might start posting also different things, uh, TBRs, book hauls. Let's see how it goes. Let's start easy, let's start soft, and let's see how it goes. So the first book that I have read this year is The Optician of Lampedusa, and let me tell you a little secret, I have started it technically last year, because I have started it on the 31st of December, but I finished it this year, so I can technically consider it to be the first book that I have finished this year. It was published this autumn, and I decided to pick it up when Simon over at Savage Reads posted a wonderful, heartbreaking review of the book. Um, the cover of the book, by the way, is here on my on my right, I guess. My left or my right? Because I'm pointing left, but you you will see it on my right side. Uh, for those who don't know, Lampedusa is a tiny little island uh, between Sicily and Northern Africa, uh, and Lampedusa is also the first uh, sort of European uh, shore that um, migrants and refugees find when they try to access Europe. So it is the gate to Europe. The Optician of Lampedusa tells the story of this very average guy. He is an optician. Uh, he lives and works in Lampedusa. He has a wife, Teresa, that he loves very much. Um, they work together. One day, with a group of friends, he decides to take a day off at the end of summer. It's early October, and they all go to a fishing expedition. What he doesn't know is that this fishing expedition is going to change their lives. So they're spending their first night on the boat and all of a sudden they start hearing early in the morning some noises. At first they think those noises are the sound of seagulls, of, of birds flying around, but then all of a sudden they realize that those those are not noises, those are human screams. So they turn their boat around and they see that uh, a group of people is drowning and they realize that this group of people are um, migrants and refugees who are trying to, um, to get to Europe. They try to rescue as many people as possible but they are faced by one of the most possibly dreadful uh, situations in life. They have to choose which of those people ha they can save and which ones they have to leave at sea because obviously they can't save them all. The core of the book is the aftermath of this, of this tragedy and how the optician of Lampedusa his wife and his group of friends react to the tragedy that they have gone through. I like the book very, very much. 
I like how Emma Jane Kirby, who's the author of the book and is also a BBC journalist, has depicted the situation in Lampedusa. It's very tragic, but at the same time is very vivid and realistic. She describes this tragedy with an amount of realism that I have struggled to find anywhere else. I've read loads of books and I've seen loads of documentaries about the refugee crisis, but none of them quite as strong and powerful as this one. I also have to say that it took me a while to finish reading this book. It's just around 150 pages long, but it is a lot to take in. It is a lot to, um, to assimilate. The book also deals with the reaction by the Italian government to the refugee crisis. Um, Emma Jane Kirby criticizes their approach as it is essentially inhuman, although she doesn't say it directly, it is quite clear from what she uh, depicts that she believes the approach is inhuman uh, and that a lot needs to be made. Um, it also deals with the hypocrisy of institutions, Italian institutions that cry during the funeral of those who died uh, in this in this terrible tragedy but then this tragedy gets completely forgotten once it gets out of the news cycle so I gave it five stars out of five on Goodreads and I have to say I liked it very very much so this is all for me for the first video of uh, the bookish wonderland my new youtube channel i hope you've enjoyed it i'm reading two books at the moment uh, one i've almost finished is the year of living danishly by helen russell and the second one is london lies beneath uh, by stella duffy which i am half way through i think um i will see you next time and i hope you'll have a very good reading time bye